About two weeks ago I posted a video called how to make amazing gray sound fancy or something along those lines. In the tutorial I've shown how you can spice up your amazing gray so that it sounds a lot more Irish and a lot more folky. In this tutorial we are going to build upon that, but I'm going to show you a few general ideas, general Irish ornamentation ideas that you can add to your pieces. So that on the moment that you play an Irish piece you can come up with your own ideas how to add fun elements to it that make it sound more Irish. So let's get started right away. First of all, the triplet. The triplet is just three quick notes that you play instead of just one note. So if you would have an uh, Irish piece that would go like this. You could also do... If you speed it up. And that directly makes it sound a lot more Irish. You can also add upward triplets or downward triplets, so you don't have to play the same note in the triplets. You, you can, of course, you can play just one note as a triplet, but you can also play so as a slur or, or just separate both. For instance, I like to use a triplet in Drowsy Maggie. And if you speed that up, and then you have a quick triplet that you can add. So you basically just take one of the notes of the Irish song that you are playing, the Celtic song, the whatever folk song, you can add it to any type of folk songs, and you replace the note with a triplet. Or you can just do that triplet three times, same note, or you can use different notes and, for instance, go up or go down with the triplet to the next note. The next very simple ornament that you can add to your folk songs is a cut. Cut sounds like this. Instead of playing the note that you would actually be playing, so for instance the D, you are adding one note above and then you directly remove it. So you just start on the note above the note that you would actually be wanting to play and then you directly remove your finger. You directly get the feeling of what type of sound it can create. You directly get the feeling, it adds a little bit of an interesting element to that note. I think it fits sometimes very nice to slow pieces. But it could also easily fit to faster pieces. You can see that you can add all the different elements in one song. The next Irish ornament is called the tap. It's the same as the cut, but the other way around. So where in the cut we were starting on the note above the note that you were actually going to play, in the tap you are starting on the note below that. like to play an E for instance on the D string, so first finger on D. You could start with a D. You can even do it also slowly, that can also be a very nice ending of the piece.
maybe even adding a slide to it. But you can also do it fast. As you can see, it creates a certain atmosphere. I like it. I think you can also, if you play it fast, it creates a little bit of energy, a little bit of percussion that you can add. The next ornamentation is the pad. On the pad, you start on the note that you actually wanted to play. You add one note above that note and directly return to the note that you were to play. So for instance, if you have to play an E, you would play E, second finger, E again. So one, two, one, and then. Normally you try to play that second finger as fast as possible to make sure that you get the desired sound. Because it should sound a bit percussive, it should not sound classical like But it should more sound like So yeah, you get the idea, right? So it is like... And you can even play it so fast that you don't even hear the note anymore, that you just hear the percussive sound. You can also use one note higher, so you don't necessarily have to use the note right above the note. You can also use two notes above the note, so for instance if you would be playing the first finger then using the third finger. And then you get the same sound. Let's look at one of my favorite Irish ornamentations, the long roll. The long roll sounds so nice, I really like it. Long roll. In the long roll, we kind of combine all those elements together. We start on the note itself, then one note above, then the note itself again, the note below, and then a note again. So if you were to start on the E, or the first finger on D, it would be one, two, one, D, one. You can start by practicing this very slowly. And then you can do it faster. Until you can do it so fast that you can almost not hear the notes anymore. I think it sounds so, so nice. And sometimes I even like the slow version where you actually do hear all the tones. Just adding a few long rolls here in a random scale and directly it sounds Irish. There's also another roll which is very closely related to the long roll. It's the short roll, it's a little bit easier. Or I don't know if it's necessarily easier, but it's shorter at least. In a short roll, you start on the note above the note that you were going to play. So if you were playing the E again, you start one note above the E. And then you go one note above, note the self. Note below, note itself. Very slowly. And you 
to do it very fast that you get again this type of percussive accent. You might be like, wait a second, Julia, I am trying to add these rolls to my piece and it sounds like crap. And that might happen actually, because it doesn't really sound great on every note to add this type of ornament. What I normally notice is that it does sound very nice on the first and the third note of the bar. So if you have a four fourth bar, for instance, try to add it on the first or the third and it often works out. Whereas any random other note might be a little bit harder. And also it works very well for the quarter note. So if you have a little bit a longer note, then it is easier. Because if you're playing fast, like, like where would you possibly be able to add an ornament? Okay, on the long note. I would say that is just too fast to add a lot of ornaments. But on the notes that I could add it, it is still the longer notes. But again, it's a lot easier on longer notes, so pick the longer notes in the piece, I would say. Two of the very easiest elements to add are the upward and the downward slide. Those are two different elements, but they are basically the same. In the one, they, you go upwards towards note, and in the other one, you go downwards towards the note. So upward slide, downward slide. You normally kind of slide towards the note that you would like to play. So on the upward slide, if you play A and then the third finger, and we did it in Amazing Grace, then you can go up towards the note. That sounds lovely. But you can also go down. And the downward slide is definitely a little bit harder and I would recommend the upward slide if you if the melody is going up and the downward slide if the melody is going downwards. But it doesn't have to be the same each time. You can of course also experiment with a downward slide and then going up. But in general it is normally used if you go downward. if you go up towards the note. Another very common element to add to European folk music is double stops. And if you would like to learn more about double stops, please let me know in the comments, because I could literally fill a whole video about double stops, but just to quickly touch upon it. It often sounds very nice in folk. So if you, for instance, would play directly sounds like folk, right? I'm just literally adding an open string. It's so easy. I, I'm just playing a scale. By the way, talking about scales, it can actually be very nice to practice your rolls and all the ornaments that you've just learned on a scale first. That makes it easier to later apply it in a piece. So for instance, the double roll, you could practice it like... do so with all the other double stops as well.
and so on. So try that as well for all the new ornaments that you've learned in this video. First try to play it on a scale and then add the ornaments to your pieces. Also, I added a quick overview of all of these ornaments on my website, a PDF, you can download it for free. So please click below this video to download that PDF so that you have a quick overview that you can put on your music stand. And whenever you're playing folk music, you can just get it and maybe get some fun ideas of ornaments to add to your pieces. And if you have added some of these in your folk music, please tag me on Instagram at Vital Inspiration. I would love to see you add the ornaments in your plate pieces and songs. So thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again in the next week for the next lesson. And as you know, lesson recommendations, anything that you would like to learn next, please post it below in the comments. I'm always open for suggestions and ideas. Thank you so much. Bye bye. See you later.